Yeah. But yeah, um, but then we went to a strip club. We both made out with random people. Like it just, it just depends on the day. <laughs> but where is this going? I don't know. Let's <laughs> get moving All on. Right. Hello universe, my name is Kati and welcome to my adventure. Today I'm here with my wonderful girlfriend Bailey. Today we're going to be doing the girlfriend tag. Tag your it. <laughs> you guys already know how it goes. I'm not going to try to explain it. We're both kind of awkward on camera. I mean, I'm just, I'm just an awkward human being as it is. So this video may be a little uncomfortable and weird. Sorry. Um, let's just dive right into it, okay? Yeah. Okay. Question number one, how did we meet? Do you want me to? Mm-hmm. Okay. Pretty much two years ago, we had a mutual friend and him and his mom both thought that we would be like the perfect couple. So they tried hooking us up and uh, we never met. Fast forward to earlier this year, we both find ourselves single and uh, we started kind of flirting again. I guess. I finally gave you a chance. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. So we started FaceTiming and just kind of getting to know each other and uh, and we finally met. Our paths could have crossed so many times over the past like five years, but I'm thankful they didn't. It's just like, the universe was preparing us to meet each other. Yeah, no, we definitely weren't ready. Mentally, uh, two years ago when we could have gone together, there's no way. Next question is what, why do I drop everything I hold? <laughs> All right, so next question, what was your first impression of me? Obviously you're super sweet. You're also kind of intimidating, a little scary. A little different than the two years ago first impression, but it was a good one. There's a lot more to you than I thought. I kind of, I guess, kind of like similar to your first impression of like, wow, it's not really what You're I was different. expecting, yeah. but I'm, I'm glad <laughs> yeah. I got that. So that leads me to the next thing. Describe our first kiss. Definitely kicked off our whole entire relationship kind Very of with, with a bang. Yeah. I was on a trip and I had just flown, <laughs> I had just flown back and uh, I was like, you know, I, I like, I can't wait to meet you anymore. Can I just drive down there tonight? A lot of people don't know, but we're long distance. We live about three hours apart. And I remember the entire like drive down I was like picturing like how I'm gonna kiss like how we were gonna kiss as soon as I pulled up you just like opened up the garage door and I was like oh, <laughs> she's so pretty it started out as a, it was hug, a, it was a long it was like, slow meaningful kiss in, was, in the yeah. driveway <laughs> five o'clock in the morning I still remember everything it's funny. Funny. yeah same yeah <laughs> which one of us wears the pants preferably neither of us all we're metaphors we're aside we're, we're pretty fucking equal we both have qualities that we can share with one another yeah. so it's like it's not really like one has you know like wears the pants or has like more i guess like dominance in the relationship it's it's pretty shared it's pretty like definitely we're, good at that. we're really we're good, good at it <laughs> what is our song pussy is god 1950. I think that's a song we've cried together. Good tears. Ha like happy, happy tears. tears. Yeah, no, don't get me wrong. Happy Honestly, tears. Honestly, like happy post-sex tears. Like the all the emotions are out there. I'm okay, sorry. Okay, calm down. No, yeah. it's a great Anything song. Anything King Princess, I guess, to be more specific, 1950 by King Princess. Who said I love you first? Subtly or... You gave the hint and I said it out loud. <laughs> we were talking about something and she was just like, God, I'm so infatuated with you and I was like no don't like infatuation isn't healthy and like, I was like well emotion. I couldn't say what I wanted to say because we haven't fucking said it yet so and we kind of just left it at that and then about a week later yeah. we came home from the club and we were both like we weren't drunk but we were definitely we were like, like happy, we weren't happily buzzed you just like kissed me as you were like running the bath water and I was like hey by the way just to let you know um I know you love me. Cool, I love you too. <laughs> I just remember, I think both of us cried like three times. I don't know, it was a, it was a good night. Did you have tears in your eyes? A little. Me too? <laughs> Next. All right, this will kill the mood. I'm oh, just kidding. No. What do we argue most about? Um, we don't fight. <laughs> no. Really can't think of anything. We're very unproblematic when it comes to us and our past, and like we're very open about our past. We know everything about each other, and that's... It's Great, Disgusting. because I mean, great. It's awesome. you, you can't. Yeah. We do a very good job at communicating. Therefore, we don't really have things that turn into arguments. It's just like a conversation. I've been upset about things, and I'm sure you have too. But we always just kind of we don't make an argument. We just talk. I mean, I'm sure there will be issues in Later the future life, because I'm nothing's sure we'll ever gonna be. But... Yeah, nothing's ever gonna be perfect. But um, I'm pretty confident when I say that I, d I don't really see us fighting very much. I don't know. We 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 do very good at communicating. Go us. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> um, what's our favorite thing to do together? Nothing. <laughs> we work a lot, um, so we don't really get a lot of like free time. Like, I would say talk. 
That's talk. one of yeah. that's like even on our car rides. Personal. We just, yeah. We listen to music. We just talk. God, we are disgusting. We're annoying. <laughs> yeah. What are some traditions we have? Definitely bracelets. We get bracelets from like everywhere we go. Towns, gift shops, gas stations. I mean, anywhere that we are at together. That's you know not home necessarily. Yeah. We get bracelets. Here's a juicy question. I'm excited for it. Oh my god. What is something you've never told me? We tell each other everything. Like yeah. Past relationships. I ever told you about the time I accidentally snorted in front of my gym teacher? Yeah. Oh, here's something I've never told you. When I was little, I used to eat napkins. Like, I used to eat paper. Oh. Yeah. Describe me in three words. Free. You're very free. Open-minded. I kind of wanted to. One, right? It's got a hyphen. Free and open-minded and wild. Just like a little wild child. A little sweetie. A little angel baby. I said three, mother. <laughs> I got a lot. This isn't really like three words, but it like actually no the three words I would use to describe you is easy to love Those are the three words I would use to describe you Uh-huh <laughs> yeah. Do I have an angry slash you're in trouble stare and if so, what is it? You're like <laughs> I don't know. It's a whole thing. It's like mm. Mm-hmm I'm like, ah, oh, sh the tongue's out, like, I'm in trouble. You haven't really gotten it, though. Ooh, no, it's but I've seen it. I don't want to be a part of that. Uh, what's the craziest thing you've seen me do so far? Like, you made out with like somebody's crazy. girlfriend and made his dick feel really small, apparently. But, like, Probably the craziest <laughs> thing. <laughs> this guy, like, walks up to me and he's like, hey, my girlfriend's never kissed a girl before and she thinks you're cute. Like, <laughs> do you want to do it? Hey, babe. This dude's girlfriend wants to kiss me. She was like, shogger. <laughs> his manhood got hurt because some chick was about to get his girl's number and he's like, well, that's not what I wanted to do. Like, well, I was like, all right, let me, let me get my girl. I was just trying to be I was like, let me go get mine. Hold on. Baby, come yeah. here. Yeah. Like, Bailey was like, no, come baby, here. Come, on, come on. Come back to the strippers. And I was like, what? Regardless, I mean, they left. Yeah, they ended up kind yeah, of he just ended leaving. Up and then we ended up still having fun with our two girls. I mean. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> I guess I would say probably the craziest thing both of us have seen each other do. Make out with people was, at strip clubs. Yeah, was While the we're together. The like, it's not like we did this behind each other's back or anything. Yeah. We're just very open and like, we're very understanding. As long as we communicate with what's happening, like, hey, look, hey, babe, I'm gonna go make out with a stripper real quick. Is that okay? We just like to have fun. I don't know. Yeah. Are you ready for the very last question? Yeah. Drumroll, please. <laughs> what is something you've learned from being in a relationship with me? I didn't realize that love could be so freeing. It's kind of supposed to open you up and have you realize that you can't be selfish in love. What is something that you my love have learned being in a relationship with me. I've learned a lot about myself. I mean, I've I always knew that love was freeing. I just never thought that I would find that. Um, I guess what you taught me is that it's like the world. Oh, because I knew that too. Yeah. Love truly is unconditional. If somebody like genuinely does love you, they're not gonna try to change you. I don't know. Like you said, it's just so freeing. We have this happy medium to where we even when we disagree, we still try to. We're still understand. like this, almost like a grayscale zone. We're always kind of in that middle grayscale zone to where we talk about it. Do I agree with you? Not necessarily, but I know that it's you know hurting your emotions or it's hurting your feelings or it's physically hurting you or whatever. It's not better to ask for forgiveness. It's not how it works. Like yeah. you just gotta talk about it. And then yeah. usually you don't have to ask for forgiveness because you ask, already have it. Yeah. Ask for an opinion before you ask for forgiveness. Exactly. You right. might be wrong about something but your feelings aren't wrong. Yeah, right? but questions for your actions for sure but your feelings are okay to feel the way that they are. Yeah. Just my best friend. I know. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> See this outro. Sorry that got kind of Gay. Emotions! <laughs> it's fine! Ah. You're valid! Really? 100%! Yeah, one of my biggest Beautiful blessings. Things. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, again, whether it works out or not, biggest blessing. Are you ready to wrap this up? Because we're getting pretty fucking sappy on this, my friend. Yes, let's go. <laughs> um, I hope you guys liked this video. I'm sorry that it was kind of gay. <laughs> Please let me know in the comments if you guys want more, or if you hate her, then I'll yeah, just, just break up Tell me her. if you hate me. Yeah, it's cool. And I'll, just I'll take it. it. It's cool. Like I always am, <laughs> babe, not red. <laughs> Like I always say, if you'd like to follow my journey, please click the subscribe button. And if you'd like to follow my other adventures, I'll put my social media link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> hug your pet, hug your girlfriend, and until my next video, remember that the universe is on your side. Bye. I'll meet you where the earth meets the sun and the weather is warm because the scene just seems so much nicer way out there.